Welcome to our video on the top places to live in the nutmeg state, Connecticut. Known as the Constitution State and the land of steady habits, it's home to some of the most picturesque towns and cities in the country. It doesn't matter if you're looking for a place to live, a place to start a business, or just a place to sip a good cup of coffee, Connecticut has it all. It's a beautiful state with a rich history and diverse communities. From affluent Greenwich to the family-friendly West Hartford, we will take a look at the median home values, rents, household income, population, and famous places. Whatever you're looking for, we've got you covered, small town feel or bustling city life, there's something for everyone in Connecticut. So sit back, relax and let's get started. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Coming at number 8, New Haven is one of the best places to live in Connecticut due to its great culture and entertainment scene, as well as its abundant green spaces. New Haven blends the best of both worlds, with its colonial charm and cosmopolitan amenities. It's one of America's most walkable cities with its brick-paved streets, and the city also has a reliable public transportation system with commuter trains into New York City, Springfield, and Hartford. The population is around 135,000, and the median household income is around $69,000. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include the East Rock area, known for its historic homes and proximity to local parks and schools, and the Dwight area, known for its proximity to Yale University. The Wooster Square area is also known for its historic charm, beautiful architecture, and proximity to the downtown area. The Westville neighborhood is known for its friendly community, great schools, and affordable housing options. The median home value is around $271,000, and the median rent is around $1,700. Some of the famous places include East Rock Park, a popular spot for outdoor activities, and the New Haven Green, a popular spot for events and festivals. Stamford, located in Fairfield County and is known for its diverse population, the thriving business community, and excellent schools. It's also known for its high cost of living, but with all the amenities, it's worth it. Three Fortune 500 companies and numerous divisions of large corporations are located in Stamford, making it one of the nation's largest financial districts outside of New York City. While Stamford isn't technically a suburb, it's the closest city in Connecticut to New York City. The population is around 136,000, and the median household income is around $99,800. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include the Shippen Point area, known for its waterfront homes and proximity to local beaches, and the Glenbrook area, known for its proximity to local shops and restaurants. If you want that small-town feel while staying close to the city, Springdale is a great choice. Some of the famous places include the Stanford Museum and Nature Center, a popular spot for nature lovers, and the Stanford Town Center, a popular shopping and dining destination. Hartford. The capital of Connecticut is located in Hartford County and is known for its rich history and cultural attractions. It's also known for its traffic, so be prepared to add an extra 30 minutes to your commute. The population is around 120,000. The median household income is around $52,000. It's consistently ranked as one of the best places to live in the country to live in West Hartford. It's home to the, the University of Hartford and the University of St. Joseph, offering a wide range of employment and educational opportunities. As an excellent destination for growing families, Hartford is well known for its charm and affordability compared with other popular areas in the state. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include the West End area, known for its historic charm and proximity to local shops and restaurants, and the Asylum Hill area, known for its spacious homes and proximity to the Mark Twain House and Museum. The median home value is around $250,000 and the median rent is around $1,399. 
Some of the famous places include the Harriet Beecher Stowe Center, the Bushnell Park, a popular spot for outdoor activities and events, and Elizabeth Park, which has greenhouses, nature trails, and flower and rock gardens. Newington, also located in Hartford County, eight miles south of downtown Hartford, and is known for its family-friendly atmosphere and excellent schools. It's also known for being the great place to raise a family, so be prepared for a lot of soccer games and PTA meetings. The population is around 30,000, and the median household income is around $93,000. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include the Newington Center area, known for its proximity to local shops and restaurants, and the Weathersfield Avenue area, known for its spacious homes and family-friendly atmosphere. The median home value is around $300,000, and the median rent is around $1,470. Some of the famous places include the Newington Historical Society, a popular spot for history buffs, and the Mill Pond Park, near the center of town, a popular spot for fishing and picnicking. Middletown. It was once a bustling sailing port and subsequently an industrial center, but is now mostly residential, with Wesleyan University located in its downtown. From its founding in 1785 to its elimination in 1960, Middletown served as the county seat of Middlesex County. It's known for its affordable housing options and a strong sense of community. The population is around 47,000 people and the median household income is around $67,485. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include the Westfield area, known for its spacious homes and proximity to local parks and schools, and the South Green area, known for its historic charm and proximity to downtown. The median home value is around $292,000, and the median rent is around $1,522. Don't let the affordable prices fool you though, there's plenty of culture and entertainment to be found. Some of the famous places include Wesleyan University, a highly regarded liberal arts college, and the Middletown Lyceum, a popular spot for live performances. Simsbury. It is located in the Farmington River Valley alongside Metacomet Ridge, a popular suburb of Hartford County. In addition to its historic homes and fabulous restaurants, the town has a number of public parks. It is a great town for those who are looking for quality schools, employment opportunities, and a relaxed pace of life, but don't expect to find a traffic light in this town. The population of Simsbury is around 25,000 people. The median household income is around $120,000. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include the Wetog area, known for its large homes and peaceful setting, and the Tarrafil area, known for its historic charm and proximity to the Farmington River. The median home value is around $425,000, and the median rent is around $2,160. Some of the famous places include the Simsbury Meadows Performing Arts Center, a popular spot for live performances and the Simsbury Farms Golf Course, a popular spot for golfers. Talcott Mountain State Park is a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts, with hiking trails, waterfalls, clifftop lookouts, and ponds for fishing and swimming. Cheshire. It is a beautiful residential community county, it has been named one of the 50 best places to live in the U.S. by Money Magazine. It boasts excellent schools and a high quality of life. It's also known for its friendly residents, so don't be surprised if you're greeted with a hello from every person you pass on the street. Cheshire offers both rural serenity and easy access to popular cities in a prime location between New Haven and Hartford. The population is around 29,000 people, and the median household income is around $132,000. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include the Highland Park area, 
known for its spacious homes and family-friendly atmosphere, and the Cheshire Village area, known for its proximity to local shops and restaurants. The median home value is around $430,000, and the median rent is around $1,300. Some of the famous places include the Cheshire Dog Park, a popular spot for dog lovers, and the Cheshire Ice Rink, a popular spot for ice skating. Cheshire is a great place for those seeking a family-friendly community in a gorgeous natural setting, as well as an annual strawberry festival with live music, crafts made by local artisans, and plenty of fresh fruit. Sleeping Giant State Park is a local favorite, with two miles of mountaintops, a lookout tower, nature trails, and picnic areas. Greenwich Located on Connecticut's Gold Coast, in Fairfield County, Greenwich is one of the best places to live. It's one of the wealthiest towns known for its high-end shopping and dining options. It's also known for its high property taxes, so be prepared to pay a premium for that designer handbag. Due to its proximity to New York City, it's a popular commuter town for working professionals. The population is around 64,000 people, and the median household income is around $180,000. Some particularly desirable neighborhoods include Riverside, known for its waterfront homes, and Old Greenwich, known for its historic charm and small-town feel. The median home value is around $2.3 million, and the median rent is around $4,163. The housing options are diverse, with everything from historic homes to modern apartments. The city has multiple public parks and more than 150 acres of beaches along Long Island Sound. Some of the famous places include Greenwich Avenue, a historic shopping district, and the Greenwich Point Park, a popular spot for swimming, fishing, and picnicking. In the end, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon, share the video, also leave your valuable comment below. See you at the next one. So, there you have it, the best places to live in Connecticut. Each of these towns and cities offer something unique and special, whether it's the small town charm of Cheshire or the affordable housing and strong sense of community. We hope this video has helped you decide which area of Connecticut might be the best fit for you and your family. Good luck with your move!